because I get people all the time, and, and especially people that refer to themselves as pragmatists on the right, they'll ask me, Caleb, why be a single-issue voter on this? I have people on the left ask me that, too. Why is it that this is an issue that is, is so make-or-break for you? And I've said on the air many times, if you are even slightly pro-choice, you cannot get my vote. It is not possible. I will not vote for you if that is the case. And when I say that, I mean even in the most extreme cases, if you are not 100% pro-life, I don't care if I line up with you on literally every other issue, you can't get my vote. And I've had so many people come and ask me about that, and I'm glad that they did. I'm glad that they're curious. Here's why. Because the issue of life is the only issue that matters in regards to every other right. Because ultimately, what I vote on is the one that I believe is, as the Declaration of Independence says, the one that is most likely to secure my liberty and, for, and future happiness. That's my curriculum. Those are the parameters I set around my vote. And when it comes to life, if you don't have that issue, literally no other issue matters. Because every single right that every human being has revolves around the right to life. Look through the Bill of Rights. It is impossible to have freedom of speech if you're not alive. Dead people can't talk. It is impossible to freely exercise your religion if you are not alive. Dead people can't go to church or talk about their church or evangelize. It is impossible to keep and bear arms if you are not alive. I mean, you get the idea. I could go on and on and on and go through each of the Bill of Rights. I could go through liberty, the pursuit of happiness, uh, being free from slavery. You could even go to what the founders wouldn't have necessarily considered rights, but we consider rights today like the right to vote. But you can't do any of those things if you're dead. Well, you, you can vote if you're dead, if you're a Democrat. That's true. <laughs> but <laughs> it, under normal circumstances, you're not allowed to have any of those rights if you're not alive. Every single right that a person has is contingent upon their right to life. And if you are unwilling to defend that right, then I have to assume that you are unwilling to defend that right and anything else. Because if you don't have a right to life, but you have the right to free speech, for example, well, the second that somebody says something that you don't like, you may not be able to silence their speech, but you can kill them. Okay, well, then you effectively have removed the right to free speech, and you could go on with all of the other rights, so on and so forth. And because of that, if you are not willing to defend the right to life, you are unwilling to defend every single other right. And that's why I am a single-issue voter on this. Look, ultimately, and I, I saw this over the weekend, I think it was uh, Joe Biden that was saying that transgenderism is the civil rights movement of our generation, which is such a load of hogwash. <laughs> because I remember, I'm old enough to remember because I'm you know more than six years old, when gay marriage was the civil issue, the civil rights issue of our generation. And then as soon as it went in way, they claimed that they were still being oppressed and they still didn't have all the rights that they needed. And so they were going to have to have men going into bathrooms and all that other stuff. Look, they can try that all they want, but I am thoroughly convinced that history is going to look back on our society today when they're reading about us in their school books, 30, 40, 50 years from now. And they're going to say, how did those barbarians allow such an evil paganistic practice to exist? May not use those exact words, because I have a feeling we won't be all that religious in the future. But the point is, even somebody that is a-religious and amoral could look back at that and say, how did they not get that that was killing millions of innocent lives? Abortion is actual civil rights issue because it deals with a person's actual civil liberties, the most important and foremost among those liberties, the right to live, the right to exist. And without that, it doesn't matter if you have any other rights because they can all be taken away from you. If the government has the right to remove your life from you without your consent, then they can remove any other right from you 
just by killing you. That's why the right to life is a single issue for me, the single most important one, the only one that I will say to a candidate, if you're not on board with this, I'm sorry, I, I can't, I can't cast my vote for you. Just in case you were wondering, yes, I am a straight white Christian male and a small government constitutionalist, which means I have no chance of getting any help from the government and wouldn't accept their help even if they offered. Which means I'm going to need you to like and subscribe because my gun collection is not going to pay for itself.